Ladies and gentlemen, Colum and Buzz is back. Are you surprised? Do you still remember my English news? Today, Colum and will take you to popular destinations in the country of cherry blossoms. What are we waiting for? Let's visit the first city. Fukushima is a prefecture of Japan located in the southernmost area of Tohoku. Despite the fact that it had to suffer many natural disasters such as earthquakes and tsunamis, as well as the infamous nuclear disaster in the past, Fukushima still attracts quite a number of tourists thanks to its milder weather, with more rain in the summer and warmer temperature in the winter. When being in Fukushima, don't forget to visit Suchiyu Onsen, the hot spring located in the western of the, to the west of the city. Suchiyu is a hot spring located in an old village with over 1,000 years of history, where guest houses, hotels, pubs, and souvenir shops line up closely one after another. There are three food baths inside with three different names Suchiyuko, Suki no Yubuye, Kaji Kanoyu. Besides, there are two public baths, Nakanoyu and Kokeishiyu. You may not know that the hot spring water at Suhiyu Onsen can help improve the conditions of neuraja, rheumatism, anemia, arthritis, and other pains. The place is also popular with tourists for its free food baths. Thanks to Tsuhiyu Onsen, tourism industry in the village and in areas to the east of Fukushima managed to recover from the 2011 earthquake. Aside from a medical and tourist destination, Suchiyu Hot Spring is also an aquaculture site most well known for their Southeast Asian shrimp, Onitenaga, green tiger shrimp. Onitenaga shrimp can be exploited not only as a tourism product for fishing and entertaining, but also as an onsen specialty because of the quality of their meat. Many of you must be wondering how can they grow shrimp in hot springs? According to an expert, the ideal temperature for shrimp farming is about 25 Celsius degrees. Therefore, people here are reusing the water after lowering its temperature accordingly so that it is suitable for the shrimps, which is a brilliant idea to cut down production costs. Just the first destination and I can feel everyone's excitement. Keep watching as I am going to take you all to many other fascinating places in Japan. Does the name Ehime Prefecture of Japan ring a bell to you? Though it's not as widely known as Tokyo, Osaka, Chiba, or Aichi, Ehime owns so many interesting destinations to be explored. Please join me in the journey of exploring Ehime Prefecture in Japan. Located in Ehime Prefecture, only 12 kilometers southeast of the city of Nihama, the Beshi Copper Mine was one of the most productive mines in Japan. What's special about Nihama City is that many restaurants and public areas here are named Akagane, such as Akagane Museum, Akagane Taxi. So, what is Akagane? Let me tell you. In Japanese, Akagane means copper. The locals here believe that copper was the foundation of prosperity until 1973 when the Beshi copper mine was officially closed. Though that was just a belief in the past, Akagane is still widely used in many areas of Nihama city. Today, the old mining site of Beshi copper mine has been turned into the Minetopia Beshi theme park, including the mining railway that was used to transport copper ore and tourists can have a tour around the mining area on train. There's also a bridge with a very strange shape, having its two halves asymmetrically made. This may be the most bizarre and unique bridge in Japan. Sounds intriguing, right? Let's walk across the bridge with me. In the winter time, the Beshi Copper Mine offers such spectacular scenery since Midetopia Beshi planted around 200 winter sakuras. So, when visiting this destination from around November to January, you can enjoy the beauty of sakuras and take for yourselves most romantic photos 
like in any Korean movies. There are so many stories to tell about the history of mining in Japan, and Beshi Copper Mine is definitely a must-visit destination when going to Japan, particularly in the winter time. Make a plan, take a trip there, and then share your story with me. The next city would be Kanazawa, known as the town of old Japan. The streets are styled with the images of old days. The traditional arts and crafts still circulate and inherit to this day. Tourists come to old town of Kanazawa not only because of the unique food, but also because of a specialty that the locals here want everyone to enjoy. B Holdings, an integrated transport company, has made an outstanding invention. They attach the images of local specialty food onto the taxis in order to promote them to the tourists. There, you ain't wrong, that's a wafer taxi. In addition to the wafer taxi, they also have Kagawa Udon taxi, apple pie taxi, Kanazawa sushi taxi, and more. Apart from the special taxis, Kanazawa is also famous for tuna and the number one sushi consuming city in the country. This city is blessed with the seafood from the Sea of Japan. Furthermore, almost all taxi drivers are trained to become a professional sushi advertiser. Hence, you don't need to worry when visiting Kanazawa, for your driver will guide you on how to enjoy Japanese sushi in your own style. It's time to say sayonara to Kanazawa and its unique taxis as well as tempting sushi dishes. We are heading to the town of Suno, located in Miyazaki Prefecture. This is one of many cities in Japan blessed with rich natural environment and captivating landscapes. Sunu offers a wide assortment of vegetables and fruits throughout four seasons. Especially, this is the largest and most popular supplier of mango nationwide. Mango is the pride of Miyazaki Prefecture. It is utilized as an ingredient in all sorts of dishes and drinks. The distinctive aroma of mango drink would capture anyone's heart at the very first attempt. But have you ever heard of mango wine? Unusual, isn't it? Similar to grape wine, mango wine in Miyazaki is entirely made from local products offering a pleasantly sweet flavor. Curious about where the mango trees are grown? Let's follow me to the hill and find out. You can get a bird's eye view of the whole city center as you get to the top. Much to your surprise, grape wine is available here as well. However, the climate poses a challenge for viticulture, making Miyazaki's grape wine uncommon and precious. Local enologists still never give up on finding a solution that helps Miyazaki become a kingdom of wine, representing Japan on the global market. The last city that I want to show you is Nakano, located in the north of Nagano Prefecture. This land is believed to have the longest life expectancy in the world. Also, Nagano Prefecture has numerous sacred shrines and mountains that you must see for yourself. Now, let's cut to the chase and see what it is in store for us, shall we? What brings so many tourists to Nakano every year? Well, it is the festival of over 3,000 roses blooming in June, along with bunches of sweet grapes and countless amazing dishes. Nakano's grapes are delicious, with no seeds and can be eaten as a whole. This tasty blackish-purple fruit is an absolute favorite among girls, so remember to give it a go when you come to this city. Besides grapes, Nakano's specialties also include a familiar fruit to everyone. Can you guess what it is? Yes, apples, some of the tastiest you can find in the country. So what would you expect to see when you split open an apple? Surprise! The inside of the apple here is not yellowish like we often see, but it is reddish inside and out. To make such a fruit, experts have spent 30 years doing research. This simply shows the world how resilient and indomitable Japanese can be in their process of developing their country and reaching out to the world. I have given you some interesting facts about the five places to be in the land of cherry blossoms. Which one is your favorite? 
Just leave a comment below and let me know. Our sweet summer is finally here. So have you planned for the vacations to come? If you haven't, hopefully the information about Japan from Kalaman will be useful for you in this summer vacation. Time to say goodbye, guys. Don't forget to share with Kalaman the beautiful photos of you and your friends in Japan, okay? Yeah.